Let's start in the exciting part of our meter where we put all the other stuff that doesn't fit in what we call the main body. First we see CIG, that means ceiling. Right there, you can see that in my conventions table, ceiling. And then we have 005V009. So that's variable. So in this, in this METAR, we have a ceiling that is variable between 500 to 900 feet AGL. That's important information because I know this is reporting in the main body. It's overcast 900 feet. But apparently in some areas, the ceiling is lower, as low as 500 feet. Okay, so I'm going to take that into account. I realize now the bottoms of these clouds are not just nice and flat. They're a little bit more ragged, okay? All right, next one we see is vicinity. Sometimes we're going to see vicinity, meaning that it is beyond five miles. So if our main body of our meter is looking at the five mile radius, vicinity means we are five to 10 miles from the observation point and distant is that it's more than 10 miles away. We often see distant or vicinity in terms of thunderstorm activity, lightning activity. You often see that. So we'll get some examples. Here's a great example that I've just pulled up. Let's start with something simple though. In the main body of this METAR, we have RA, okay, so we got to break that up. Rain goes back to our precipitation list, began at 43 minutes past the hour. So rain began 43 minutes past the hour. Cool. Here's an awesome one that I pulled off of a real METAR from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah, go Packers. Okay, we have UP. All right, I find it best to break these things up. I'm going to look for my precipitation types first. We have RA, that's the type that we've seen. We have FZRA, that's another type that I've seen. Okay, so I think we found all our precipitation types in this example. Remember what UP is unknown precipitation. Something's falling from the sky, I don't quite know what it is. Okay, unknown precipitation. E is ended, so it ended one minute past the hour. Rain began at one minute past the hour, and it ended at four minutes past the hour. Then freezing rain began at four minutes past the hour, and it ended at 53 minutes past the hour. Perfect. So that's how you read one of those. Look at some other parts. So sometimes we got a little plain text going on and they'll just type it out. So it could be like volcano, tornado, funnel cloud, water spout, Virga. I've seen Virga listed. I've seen funnel cloud listed on a METAR before. Automated stations. So you see this. Often people are like, I don't know what that means, right? Okay. Well, let's talk about what that means. A01. It does not have the precipitation, what we call a discriminator. So the machine is incapable to tell you if it is raining or snowing. It can tell you that it's precipitating, but it's not going to tell you if it's rain or snow. AO2, it does have a precipitation discriminator system. So it can tell you if it's rain or snow. So it does have that possibility. AO2A was means that it is augmented by a human. So that little A on the end, augmented by a human. You need to know the difference between AO1, AO2, AO2A. That's important to know. Okay, next thing that we sometimes get in this section, if we have some wind gusting going on, we will see this. So um, peak wind remark. So we'll have peak wind and then we get some information about what the wind had done. So first we get a three digit group of the direction, again in degrees true, typed text weather, T for type text, T for true. And it's at 28 knots. So it was from the south at 28 knots. And then we get a time that that thing happened. So in this one, it happened at 0015Z. So again, we're going to UTC time, which we always use. OK, 
Okay, so then sometimes you get this one, W shift, that's wind shift. And um, we had a 20 degree wind shift and it was due to a frontal passage, FROPA. Okay, so frontal passed, a front passed by and we had a wind shift after that happened. Sometimes we get visibility remarks. So occasionally the tower wants to tell you the tower is visibility difference than the surface possibly. So we can have the tower visibility is one quarter statute mile. Perhaps our tower is a rather tall tower. We have our little guys in the top making their observation. They're working up here, We've got some antennas. But we have some clouds and fog that's obscuring the top of the tower. The surface visibility down here, it might be fine. But in the top of the tower, it's terrible. They're sitting up there in the fog layer. And so they can report that and say, well, our visibility is only a quarter statute mile. But surface visibility might be better. If they want to code a remark about surface visibility, they will use this SFC. Sometimes they might even give you a second location um, in the main body if it's lower. So for this example, the visibility is one and one half statute miles at runway two niner. Some airports are huge. Denver is a good example of a huge airport. So there might be a second location that they, that they may put. You also see this kind of visibility remark. This basically says in our southwestern sector of the airport area, the visibility is one and a quarter miles. Perhaps it's lower in the main body of our METAR and it's better over here to the southwest. Lightning, I love the lightning group. So fun. Okay, so we get several things with this. We get the frequency of the lightning's occurrence. We get what type of lightning. We get a direction and we get a distance if it's farther than within five miles. So if it's vicinity, it's five to 10, remember, and if it's distant, it's more than 10 miles away that it was observed. So for this example, um, we have occasional. These you can usually figure out just by looking. Frequent and C-O-N-S is constant. So it's like a strobe light in here with the constant lightning going on. Types, again, are fairly easy to understand once you know what we're talking about. You can generally figure them out. Cloud to ground. So anything that's C is going to be cloud. So CG is cloud to ground. Oh, that's a big B. Um, in cloud is IC. Cloud to cloud is CC. And cloud to air is CA. So we have cloud to air. Okay. So let's look at an example here that I pulled from a METAR. Here's how they're going to code this, and I'll read it for you. You can practice on these on your own. They're good to practice with. Occasional lightning. So there's our lightning group. In cloud, cloud to ground, and then where it was observed to the northwest. So that's that direction piece. We have, um, sometimes if we have a thunderstorm movement, I have an example on our next slide to show you with that. So we'll put a pin in that for now. With clouds, we just mentioned this part, this ceiling, CIG is ceiling. And then 600 feet AGL variable to 900 feet AGL. Now in the remarks section, so now we're in the remarks area, we can include some other things. So we could still include cumulonimbus and towering cumulus. Okay, those also sometimes are up here in the main body. They would actually put them right after our ceiling. Um, but you can also get in the remarks all these. So, ooh, fun ones, right? Stratocumulus standing lenticular, altocumulus standing lenticular, cirrocumulus standing lenticular, and rotor clouds. And then the final one we didn't talk about is ragged. So that's talking about, um, usually it'll say something about ragged bases. And so that means our clouds, so here's my clouds over the airport, but look, they're all different heights. They're kind of lower here and higher over here. In this area, they're higher. In this area, they're lower. So that's what we mean by ragged bases. So and as an example, let's go through this METAR together. Okay. So you practice reading along and figuring out as we go. All right, got our location. 
the Salt Lake City, I happen to know that. You're not going to be tested on a bunch of airport codes. Don't, don't get concerned about that. Okay, we have the 5th of the month at 327 Zulu. Wind from 270 degrees true at 9 knots. Visibility 10 statute miles. All right, thunderstorm with heavy rain. Remember that plus applies to my rain part of my precipitation. We have broken clouds at 6,500, and here is with cumulonimbus clouds. Ah, makes sense because the thunderstorm is going on, right? So is this a ceiling? Yes, it is. Broken clouds, that's a ceiling. Next, we got another layer overcast at 9,000 AGL. Got a temperature of 14, dew point of 11 degrees Celsius. Altimeter setting is 2, 9, or 8, 9. -er. Okay, now let's get into our remarks. AO2, so we have an automated system with a precipitation discriminator. Rain began at 27 minutes past the hour, so actually the rain began right as they issued this METAR. Thunderstorm began at 26 minutes past the hour, so one minute before the METAR they issued that the thunderstorm began it probably is what prompted them to issue this METAR, actually. Okay, and then we have the lightning group. Frequent lightning in cloud, cloud to ground, cloud to air, then our direction, west and distant to the northwest. Okay, so that tells me it's um, within five miles to the west and to the northwest, it's more than 10 miles away. All right, next we have a thunderstorm that is west, currently moving northeast, okay? Cumulonimbus clouds are seen distant to the west and the north. Perfect. Okay, so that's all the parts that we have learned to read at this point. We haven't done this last section yet. Don't worry, we're going to get there on the next video. Fun, fun.